watch me make a mess. I like your funnel. I know. You are looking at the future home of our modular home. Chris. Yeah? What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Oh, <laughs> probably buy a modular home. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. Last weekend, we found a deal that we couldn't refuse and we spontaneously bought a 76 foot long trailer. And now we have to figure out how to get it here. So last summer we purchased this parcel of land and it is right next to the cabin property and we wanted it for several reasons. It's super beautiful and it kind of completes the cabin property. It's also lakefront and it really made our cabin access a lot more reasonable, but we still have this monster hill. It's super steep and it has a couple super sharp corners in it. So it's gonna be interesting trying to get a 76 foot long mobile home behind a transport truck in here and then trying to fit it in a space so you don't have to take out too many trees. But just coming out here to look at this space tonight really just nails down why we wanna be here. It's just quiet. All you can hear is the birds. In Port Nelson again <laughs> uh, we were just here skidooing a couple weeks ago but this time we are back to check out our mobile home purchase we're very excited we are on our way to see it for the first time are you excited yeah oh boy here we go retirement home retirement home <laughs> are you trying to put me in a home yeah <laughs> Yes. Home sweet home. I guess so. I think the deck is pretty good. It's so nice. It's actually so nice. You guys, it's actually so nice. So it comes with two decks and a shed, and it's really super cute. But we can't get in until tomorrow morning, unfortunately. The realtor's gonna meet us here in the morning, so. Yeah, this is what we're gonna be doing now. What do you think, Chris? What are your first impressions? I don't know. Looks not bad. I think it's super cute. Are you excited? Yeah. Gonna get dirty? Yeah. I want to take that spruce tree too. <laughs> you don't have enough? No. <laughs> That's awesome. 
So Chris is going to climb underneath this trailer and check it out. Yeah. See if it's in good shape. Hopefully. I am going to drink this Tim Hortons on the deck until the realtor gets here. And then we yeah, can I'm see waiting. it. I'm waiting too. Well, yeah, you can't go under yet. But no. you got to get your costume on. Yeah. <laughs> Sink into the earth. It's all treated wood. <laughs> this place is so cute. Check it out. So we were planning on building a place down at the lake, but this little gem came up. Uh, on real estate for a steal of a deal. So we put in an offer and bam, and now it's ours. So now the fun begins. We gotta set up solar, we gotta set up pilings, we gotta set up foundation, we gotta do all the things. So, I don't know. It's gonna be a little bit of work, but I totally think it's gonna be worth it. So I'm totally gonna show you guys around and. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Is this something that you guys would have done? Or do you think we're totally insane? Little laundry in the entryway. Master bedroom. Walk-in closet. This is the bathroom. Kitchen. Check out this pantry. I love it so much. Cute kitchen cabinets. Like, I really love the color. Can you picture a wood stove right there in that corner? Another awesome closet. This place has great storage for a month. So, what do you think? You think it's going to be awesome? Because I think it's going to be awesome. Now we just have to find a spot at the cabin where it fits well, where we can get good solar. It'll be super awesome. Can't wait. If you guys want to watch this journey, uh, we're going to do this while we're building the cabins. Things are about to get crazy. So hit the like and the subscribe. Thanks, guys. So Chris's uncle is um, a super handy guy. And Chris was kind of mentioning to him that he needed a good generator for this off-grid property. Is hooking us up with a sweet old diesel Lister generator. It's a 12 kilowatt. So we're here and we're gonna try and get that fired up. Um, maybe today, I don't think we have enough battery power, but anyway, it's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. Chris is a mechanic, so he probably fix it if it's broke. Should be pretty simple. that like a major component of a good off-grid setup is a generator and Chris is not afraid of old because at least he could fix it and I also think they can be pretty reliable so this is gonna be totally awesome at the off-grid homestead yeah what a great day cute trailer cool old generator things are looking good